Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and yes, I have to. A little kitty wanted to make an appearance in the video. Say hello. Hello. I have not named him yet, but I call him No Voice because he doesn't have a voice. And when he meows, it's like, like he cannot 100% get that meow all the way out yet. But he's my shadow. Everywhere I go, he is with me, whether it's in the shower, he sleeps with me at night, when I film videos, he is next to me on the chair, he is always next to me in a video. He, when I go to work, he waits for me at the steps, and whenever I come home from work, he is on top of the steps. Isn't that right, No Voice? He is so cute. I have to come up with a creative name for him, so leave your comments down below. He... Isn't he so cute? I love a black cat, and he has this little white fur, little white patch on his chest. He's so cute. But anyway, I'm going to go put him down and get into the videos, unless he jumps down on his own. You going to jump down? He's like, no, I'm in the spotlight now. He's not going anywhere. All right, I'm going to go put him down and get into the video. All right, he still wanted to be in the video, so he's going to chill back there. But anyway, I have a super exciting video for you guys. This is my Rose Girls Mini Melters haul. This was the haul of her ready to ship that she did on December 31st, which was the day right before my no buy, which is not going very well. Just putting that out there. But anyway, so of course, me and all my friends went crazy in this order as we always are but I do want to put a disclaimer out there too I'm not a big fan of Rose Girls right now and I've talked about this before I just feel like with this package and I will show you the major inconsistency with the mini melters um, I'll have to pull them out but there's some shapes that are this big there's some that are like this big there's some that are cut on an angle it just looks really really sloppy and I understand price changes happen and price increases it's everywhere in the world but you cannot keep raising your prices and not put the the time effort into the product and it's not like these products are free. We're, we're paying for the service. And for them to just come to you in like... I mean, some of these shapes are like this thin. I, I don't understand what happened. If this was super rush, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my little rant about the mini melters. I really hope... I know I'm a sucker. I placed an order for the pre-order of the Customer Creation Blends. Lexi, I blame you. Two quick wicks. I blame her solely because she had a scent that won. It's like cotton candy, cookie dough, let me hear your cake, or something like that. So, and with Betty White passing away, R.I.P. Rose Nyland, she created a scent called Farewell Betty White. So... I knew I had to place an order. I did, and here we are. But anyway, so as always, you do get a business card, and you get samples. Well, I got a sample this time. As you know, she was too busy to make samples for the Mario pre-order. The 500 orders she got, and she was just too overwhelmed to make samples. Also, irritating. Anyway, there's some vendors who have never not included a sample, no matter how busy and overwhelmed they are. But she was just far too busy to include samples. Calm down. Anyway, my sample was lemon cotton candy ice cream cake. And I told you I still get out of breath after talking for a while. I don't know how long that's going to last with my COVID recovery. But <clears throat> I am getting my booster shot on Wednesday. So let's hope. Let's hope it's good. Anyway, lemon cotton candy ice cream cake. It just smells like a super, super sweet lemon bakery. So that'll be nice to melt during the summer. I do love a lemon bakery. Now, I'm going to try to do the Mario Melters first. I, I have to get a drink of water. The mini melters from the Mario first. They're kind of mixed in with the package. But my logic going into this was to get mini melters of scents that I only got if I got it and I really liked it in one half pie, I got some mini melters because she did not offer pies in this restock. 
Um, and then just some scents that I really wanted to try. The first I did not intend on buying two bags of, but I accidentally added two bags to my cart, and that is Yoshi the Red Nose Dino. This is raspberry sauce, pistachio, and marshmallow fluff. And I really love this. It's like this really, really juicy, jammy raspberry with that pistachio. Ugh. Pistachio is so good. I don't get much marshmallow fluff, but I mean that is kind of like a blender fragrance. But the pistachio mixed with the raspberry, I have a whole half pie and now I have two bags. I really like the scent, but I didn't really intend to buy two because pistachio, I have to really be in the mood for. Anyway, I bought that. Um, another, this is a new one that I ordered that I wanted to try, and this is Posh Pristine Peach. And this is peach, watermelon, slush, and pomegranate. And this is so yummy. I definitely pick up on the watermelon slush first. It kind of smells like a Rita's Ice, like the watermelon flavor. It's that, like, and obviously it's artificial, but it's like that artificial uh, watermelon, maybe like a little bit of like peach syrup. But I definitely, I don't get any pomegranate, but I definitely get that, like, super sweet and fruity watermelon, like, icy out of this one. That would be great for the dead of summer. Another new scent I got, I totally blame Emily for this one. Uh, she's my little strawberry pound cake. She embodies a strawberry pound cake. We'll be texting and she's like, oh my god, doesn't this blend sound so good? Strawberry pound cake, strawberry white cake, and fresh strawberries. I'm like... It's literally just strawberry. She goes, but it sounds so good. And then she'll be like, doesn't this one sound good? White cake with strawberries. I said, it's the same scent, girl. It's just strawberries and cake. Anyway, love her. <laughs> this one is Bowser's Birthday Bash. And this is confetti cake, cream cheese frosting, strawberry pound cake, and strawberry vanilla milkshake. And it's just a good strawberry pound cake blend. It definitely smells like strawberry pound cake. Just a little bit more creamy. And, like, I definitely pick up on that vanilla milkshake mixed in with a pound cake. It's a very sweet, sugary, vanilla, strawberry pound cake. Super yummy. Why I only ordered this in a mini melter in my last order and on a pie? I don't know what I was thinking because I ordered 15 pies. This one is Autumn Mountain. Maybe it was because it wasn't the season, but... Cider Lane Dunk My Donut and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. As you guys know, Cider Lane is my kryptonite. I talk about it all the time. I love Cider Lane. And Pumpkin Pecan Waffles has become easily like my signature fragrance for fall. It is so good. And for fall, if for all year. But this really just smells like Cider Lane. I don't get any Dunk My Donut and I don't get any Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This just smells straight up like Cider Lane. And I'm not mad about it. <clears throat> I am mad that I didn't get a pie in it, but I digress. So I have two bags of mini melters in this that I will definitely be saving for the fall because it is yummy. Another one I'm kicking myself that I did not order a pie, but she heard you loud and clear, and I hope she offers this scent year long. Year round, this is Fire Mario. For one, the colors are amazing. My friend Melissa actually wants me to dye my hair like this, like flames. We'll see. Anyway, this is Marshmallow Fireside, Donut Holes, and Espresso Beans. Oh my god. You definitely get that espresso bean, and it smells just like those espresso beans. Like, obviously you don't eat just straight up espresso beans. You can. I like the chocolate covered espresso beans, but when you walk into a coffee shop where they have like the big bins of espresso sitting on top of the coffee makers, that's what this smells like. So good. And the marshmallow fire set and the donut hole kind of just rounds it out. Adds that creamy bakeriness to the espresso. I really, really hope, knocking on wood, that this is a powerhouse. Because if it is, my faith will be restored in Rose Girls again. This is one I picked up in a half pie. And the second I smelled it, there go my bags. The second I smelled it, I was hooked. Manic Mario Madness. Macintosh Madness Blueberry Muffin and Vanilla Ice Cream. Which, you don't really find apple and blueberry mixed a lot. This is so good. 
The blueberry muffin is definitely dominant. It's that really crumbly, really rich, decadent blueberry muffin. And then the apple, it just, ugh. It's her Macintosh apple scent, which I do have on its own. And the vanilla ice cream just rounds it out. This is such a fabulous blend, you guys. I am so excited to melt these guys. What I'll probably do is melt through my pies first because the mini melters are easier to store. And that way I know I have backups. This is one I also got in a half pie. Oh, so good. Donkey Kong Destruction. Banana cream pie, bear claws, and vanilla ice cream. You know I'm a sucker for banana. And that's mainly what you get is her banana cream pie. Like, first and foremost. And then bear claws, if you know, are those pastries filled with icing and cinnamon sugar and, like, this really rich, like, streusel-like. And then they put, like, chopped walnuts on top and then another icing glaze mixed with banana cream pie. The vanilla ice cream, it'll be curious. I would love to see her offer vanilla ice cream as mini melters on their own because I would try it um, just to mix with things and to see what it smells like on its own because I can never detect her vanilla ice cream. Oh, I was like, is that it for mini melters? But no. This I also got in a half pie. I got a lot of my, I got a lot of repeats in half pies. And I knew I needed more. Star of Wonder, Star of Night. This is her Strawberry Euphoria, which is her secret strawberry bakery blend mixed with serendipity. And serendipity on paper is something I would never like. And it's like creamy coconut and cherry. And those are two notes I do not care for. But again, that's why you can never go by notes. It drives me crazy when people are like, oh, I wouldn't like that. It has Palo Santo in it or something. The way that the vendor blends something, you have to go in with an open mind. And that is this. And Lexi hit the nail on the head. She said it's like this rich strawberry jello. It's so, so yummy. The serendipity just adds this creaminess and this almost like drink-like scent to the strawberry. It is so, so delicious. Oh. This is a strawberry scent I can 100% get behind. And then I think the only other <clears throat> Mario that I got, <laughs> I did get two half pies, but when I saw these mini melters that look like cow print, I had to. Moo Moo Track. This is another scent I blame Lexi for. Never would have tried this if it wasn't for Lexi. Well, I would have because the notes are just amazing. Birthday cake, a banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, and marshmallow smoothie. And what does this smell like? Like the best banana split. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like, and see how it's like kind of like cow print? <sighs> Yum. It's like banana cream pie and strawberries. It is so good. Even if you're not a banana lover, you have to try Moo Moo Track. This is a scent all year long. Like, this is one of my, like, if I'm not feeling the best, if I have a tummy ache, if I just, you know, sad day. Like, we all have sad days. Moo Moo Track makes me happy. It's like you're a kid again, waiting, like, in a, in a bakery, and you see all those pies for the first time, and you can touch the glass, and you want a slice of that banana cream pie, and they just happen to put fresh picked strawberries on the top. Chef's kiss. It's one of my favorites. Alright, so those were all, nope, as I'm like going through I'm finding more mini melters. This one is jam and jelly. This is strawberry jam, raspberry sauce, blueberry cobbler, blackberry jam butter cookies, and peeps cake. And I really ordered this just because I was like, hmm, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, it, it's just a very, very berry jelly scent. You do pick up on Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Peeps Cake because you smell bakery in it for sure, 100% like that rich, like bakery creaminess. But it's so, so good. that's what Rose Girls gets me. I love her blends. I just can't smell them when I melt them. It drives me crazy. Anyway, that one was really good, like a really, really good fruity, jammy scent over delicious vanilla cake. All right. 
Now let's move on to the regular mini melters. First up on the list is Cracklin Birch Fluff Puffs, and I got this because of Charity. I know how much <clears throat> Charity loves this scent, and I never tried it. I tried Cracklin Birch Cranberry Woods, I think, but I wanted to try it with Fluff Puffs. I'm not really sure what Fluff Puffs is. I like this. It definitely smells like white birch. Like, um, see, this is what I'm talking about. Let me try to pull these out. Let's see if you can notice on camera. You see how thick this mini melter is? Look how thin this one is. Like, how were these even made in the same batch? Well, they're not, obviously. They're different colors in different batches. But, like, aren't they poured in a pan? Did she just, like, only pour half of the amount in it? I, I don't know. It's just very inconsistent. And, I mean, these are, like, flimsy. I don't know. Anyway... It's nice. I definitely pick up on Cracklin' Birch. It's a very woodsy, outdoorsy, like, I picture, like, a piece of birch. But it's very sweet and creamy, too. Which I assume is the Fluff Puffs. Fluff Puffs is another scent that I need to try on its own. <gasps> These next ones, when I saw this blend, I got this in a, um... I got this in a, um... Kahuna box in chunks. And see what I mean? Like, this piece is massive. And then there's pieces that are, like, really, really small. And I, I know they're hand cut, but anyway. Um, and I got this in chunks, and I have not melted it yet because I'm obsessed with this scent. And when she offered it, I knew I had to pick it up. And this is Date Night. It's Biolage, which is the Matrix shampoo type, Twilight Woods, which is the Bath and Body Works type, and Pink Sugar. You're at the salon, you have the shampoo in, you have your best perfume on, and it just smells so clean, so fresh, a little musky, but a little sweet. What a way to blend, because Twilight Woods is super musky and warm, ambery, and Pink Sugar is sweet and fresh and fruity. Ugh. Blended with that Biolage, it's a great day at the salon. Love this scent, you guys. Love, love, love. This next one is a new fragrance from her that it had my name written all over it. Cucumber and Pink Sugar. I love cucumber blends. I've been obsessed with cucumber blends lately. And this this smells like a fresh cucumber. Like you sliced a cucumber, getting ready to dip it in some ranch, but instead you sprayed some Pink Sugar perfume on it. Super authentic. That cucumber oil... I can imagine when they're pouring this in the shop, that cucumber oil, so fresh. I mean, it legit smells like a cucumber. Very vegetal. And I'm not complaining. It's a really good blend. I, I really like that. It'll be interesting. It's probably going to go in the bathroom just because it is so fresh. But I really like it. Another new scent to me was Shark Bite. And this is peach, strawberry, and mango. Mango scents, so good. Every time I smell this, I like it more and more. Gosh, Jenny does it with these blends. Peach, strawberry, and mango. Three notes that you add to fragrance that are so juicy, the juice just like drips down your chin. It's exactly what this smells like. It's like juicy, 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 and more juicy. I definitely pick up on strawberry first and foremost. The mango and the peach are like 30 and 30 behind it. So juicy, so fruity. If you want juicy, fruity in the summertime, shark bite. Next, we have Blueberry Coffee Noel. So this is like blueberry cobbler and like coffee and vanilla bean Noel. And it does. It smells like a blueberry coffee cake. So good. But the coffee cake has coffee in it. Because I know coffee cake isn't typically a coffee blend. It's good. It'll be a good bl morning blend. I just had to have it. I, I love me some coffee scents, and I love when they're mixed with fruit. And then last but not least, Charity, I watched your video. I know how happy you were. I didn't go as crazy as you, but I did get five bags of good old Circus Concession. The original Circus Blend, it's like caramel apple and cotton candy and kettle corn and 
popcorn and literally deliciousness. And I think this has been asked to be poured since June and she just never did. So what a way to end the year into the New Year of No Buys. I did get five bags and I know that her mom, Kathy, who owns Kathy's Scoopable Tart Wax, if you're not familiar, join her Facebook group. She's doing a pre-order February 1st and 2nd. She's offering circus concession and scoops. And I know I, don't, I know I don't have the best of luck with Rose Girl's performance. I'm gonna try this. I do have mini muffins of it that I've been holding on to. So now I think for vendor, there's a week of our low buy collab of like vendors, fa like favorite vendor. I'm doing, I'm doing um, Rose Girls for sure, and I'm either going to do Vintage Chic or Sassy Girl. I kind of want to get rid of those broken brittles, and I haven't really melted from her yet, but I have so much VCS, and she is a favorite, so I'm not sure yet. But anyway, oh, this is so good. This is like quintessential carnival. I mean, it's sweet, it's salty, it's fruity, it's bakery, it's caramely, it's yummy, it's delicious, and I love the Valentine colors. I think that's super fun. All right. That was my haul. Super sweet, short, to the point. Let me know if you guys ordered from this Rose Girls um, ready to ship and did you place an order for the pre-order. It is still open, I believe, till today. It might be till tomorrow. I'm not 100%. Um, I'll leave that information down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join the Low Buy collab. It's been a lot of fun here on YouTube. Thank you to all of my friends. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you and make it a better world. Bye, guys.